Hey, I'll play some of this song. I'll teach it to you right afterwards. This is um, a more complicated version. I put an easy version up. Um, I saw a, a version Sunga. How do you say his name? Sunga Chung, maybe. Uh, sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> Ripped your name apart. Uh, so this is kind of based off some of the stuff he was doing, um, covering the song, and uh, not exactly because he's amazing. All right. So anyway, uh, it goes from fourth, and I'm really putting together a kind of like a G chord here, um, capo on the second fret, and uh, so I put together this kind of G chord, um, I don't use every single note, but um, I'm out on the fourth fret, fifth fret, and then these guys are on the uh, first and second string on the fifth fret relative to the capo, and so I'm kind of, I start off by sliding it back, the same chord, just by one, and then hit that bottom bass note and slide it up. And then I kind of focus in on those first and second strings, so I'm kind of using my thumb and my fingers, so it's... And then I'm... I guess I'm playing all three of them. And then sliding that, that whole thing up to overall it's the... Uh, this guy's on the 10th fret. Um, relative to the capo, it's the 8th fret. And I'm... So... And then just taking this and moving it back by one each. Right back at it. So that, that gets you through um, some of the stuff. Next is kind of like in just an A minor. So uh, putting together a regular A minor, second string, and then uh, second fret on the fourth and third string. And then you can... So like little, little riffs that you can do is kind of like... Um, I'm kind of like riffing off of this chord, so so I can kind of like play the chord without the first finger and then hammer it on. And I can add the pinky on on that first string, third fret. Play it, pull it off. I could really play the whole chord and then hammer the whole chord on, like so. I'm playing the notes just open, hammer on. First finger. All right. Um, so that's that's off the A minor. You can hang on that for a while. That kind of stuff. Good. Next is the kind of chorus area. So I'm putting together an F. Uh, Letting the first string ring open, and then this is on the second second string, um, third string, and then these guys are on the fifth and fourth. Nice sounding F. I really like that F. So I can play the chord, and then I go to the third string. Then I put together kind of a G. Really, the only notes that I need is third fret out here, and then the third fret on the second string. And then I'm kind of playing the sixth and first string open. So the sixth string there, and the first string open. Then 
go into that second string. Cool, then putting together an A. So A is just on that uh, second fret, second, third, and fourth string. Maybe I can riff on playing the, and then playing without the first finger, and then smacking on. Back to that F thing again. So play the chord, third string. Same deal with G. So sixth and first, and then sixth and fifth a couple times. Then I'm gonna do just standard E, uh, third string, and uh, on the first fret, second fret, fifth string, and fourth string. And it's just hanging on E, on an e regular. Gangnam style. And you can uh, get back to some of those original ideas. Cool. Um, so that would be a more advanced version for sure. Uh, I put an easier version up as well if that's if that's hard. But that would get you kind of some just not not necessarily it would sound necessarily a bunch more like the song, but it's just kind of cool and fancy. People know this song now a lot, and if you can kind of play it in a, in a cool manner, you'll impress some people. All right, good. Hope it helped. See you later.